Now for this last part of the question then, we're given that the curve C has this equation. And we've got to find out the equation of a normal to the curve at the point P, where P has coordinates 0, 1. Now, to do a question like this, I'd want to sketch the curve. Now, to be honest, I don't know what this graph looks like, so that's not going to stop me. I'm just going to draw some squiggly curve like this, pretending that's the equation of the curve just so I get an appreciation for the problem. So we're trying to find the equation of the normal at the point P. And being a straight line, I know that this has got the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. I know we could take y equals mx plus c, but this is a much better form to use because we've already got x1, y1, a point on the line. It's the point P with coordinates 0, 1. All I've got to do is get m, the gradient of the normal. But to do that, I'm going to need to find the gradient of the tangent at p, and then use the perpendicular gradient rule. So that's the starting point then, working out what the gradient of the tangent would be at p. And to help us with that, we already worked out what dy by dx was from the first part of the question. So all we need to do then is just substitute when x equals 0 and y equals 1, the coordinates of the point P, into here for dy by dx. So doing that, we therefore have dy by dx equals, will it be 2 then, multiplied by 1 plus 1 times e to the power 0, all divided by e to the power 0 minus 2 times 1. e to the power 0 minus 2 times the 1. And if we work this out, anything to the power 0 we know is 1, so that's going to be 2 times 2, which is 4. And that's going to be divided by 1 minus 2, which is minus 1. So that's going to give us minus 4, basically. OK? So now we have the gradient of the tangent, so we now know that therefore the gradient of the normal must be plus one quarter, because the product of the gradients must equal minus one. So therefore the gradient of the normal must equal one quarter. Now that we've got that, we've got everything we need to get the equation of that normal. So therefore Let's just write a subtitle, the equation of the normal, all right, at uh, let's say p is, and so it's going to be y minus y1, we know y1 is 1, equals m, the gradient of the normal, a quarter, multiplied by x minus x1, x1 being 0. Now I could multiply throughout by 4 and get 4y minus 4 equals just 1 times the bracket, 1x or just simply x. Now I've got to get this in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0. So to do that I just need to subtract 4y and add 4 to both sides. So therefore I get x minus 4y plus 4 equals 0. And there you go. There's our equation of our normal in the form ax plus by plus c equals zero.